my bird feeder, eating cheese. He's going in the squirrel's hole into the feeder. He goes underneath the feeder. That's where he's been hanging out. There he is. He's going in there again. See a little weasel? That is one of the most vicious animals in the world. Look it up. Afraid of nothing. <laughs> uh, and the only time he's afraid of me is if I'm kicking in his snow hollows with a broom at the bird feeder. It's the only time. And he's not even really afraid of me then. He's eating all the cheese. And if a bird was to go in there now, He likes cheese, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna go a little closer here. I don't think it'll bother him. I can see his tail. I can see it. He sniffs. Squirrel is confident because I'm here, and I don't want that because now if I scare the weasel, he's going to run into those holes, and that's where the squirrel is now. Get out of here, squirrel. Go on, get. Go on. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> he's not too scared of me. I want my squirrel to get out of here. Go on, squirrel! Because this guy will rip him to shreds in front of me. He's eating all the cheese I just put out for the chickadees, and it's really getting me upset. I don't want that. This is not what I want. The squirrel is voicing over there. I don't know if he knows the weasel's here or not. He's been talking away, and the weasel's coming in. I'm not no more than, you know, six feet away from him. If I move, my leg is getting cramped here and crouched down. He's just not afraid of me, and the birds are all around him, and he's looking at those, and he's licking his lips. See that? I don't know if you can see him out the side of the... Well, hello there, Ermin. You are a star in several of my novels. But you're a shaman spirit in there. 
here. You're just a weasel. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have the glowing green on him that the other one, a few of the others I've seen have. It's almost like antifreeze. But when you pull the hair apart uh, away from the skin, what you can see is that it's the skin that glows green, not the fur. But it produces a hue, even in the snow. Uh oh, he's coming out licking his lips again. No, this is a, an animal that kills full time. Doesn't do anything else. I really don't like them. They kill my dog. They, they get on the back of the neck of any animal and then they can't get them off, eh? And they're just uh, mink are about the same, only a little bigger and darker. And then the marten is the next step up. And then the fisher, which is also a marten, but sort of brother to the wolverine. And then wolverine is, is the big weasel. And there's otters and skunks and badgers. They're all in the same family. And they're all extremely vicious. I've even been told, and I think I even read it somewhere, that if a weasel bites the chicken on the neck, or anywhere on his body, that there's some kind of neurotoxin in his saliva that paralyzes the, the chicken. Now, I haven't seen that. <clears throat> and I don't know anybody who has. But here he is. He's looking at my birds, licking his lips. They were vermin. Don't know where he is yet. He's coming back in. I don't know. Jeez, he smells something in there. I hope my squirrel doesn't come back. This would not be good. This little bugger has just got balls the size of an elephant. You see the black tip tail? <clears throat> you know what that's for? When he's going through the willow hollow holes, and through the snow and the holes, in and out, through the tunnels, uh, in between, or it just comes out into the open, uh, animals can't see <clears throat> his body against the snow. And all they can see is the black tip. It's coming out again. And it looks like an animal running through the snow. And animals will go after it like a bird, a whiskey jack, or something will go after it. After his tail, and that's when he turns around and grabs them. Now, in the summer... They're darker, a little bit different color than, than a red squirrel, just a little bit, almost the same. If you see them running, if you don't know um, the gait that they run with and, and sort of like their personality, the personality, the difference between a squirrel and a weasel, you wouldn't even know the difference. I know the difference, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that don't. Come on, you little verminator. Come on out for one more go, and then I'm going to give you... Oh, he's right. There he went, into the hole. He, he was thinking about a bird there, I know he was. Well, well, well. We caught him in the act. Now he's going to go kill somebody. That's what he wants to do now. Now that he's got all that cheese in his body, he's going to go looking for a squirrel. Look out, squirrely squirrel, he's coming. He's coming. Watch out for that vermin. He's not gone. He's just moving around. You'd think that he'd be full by now, eat all that cheese. Mm -mm. I don't think that they have a sensation of being full. <laughs> well, there you go. There we have it. The weasel yesterday that was Waldo. Couldn't find him, just a little poking his head around everywhere. Well, here he is very next afternoon, and he will be back. He's not gone, but I feel like going and getting my coffee and my camper and checking my fire burn in there, my stove. And uh, I don't really want to leave, but I put this up on top of the feeder so that the chickadees can come up and get it if they want. There are some down here that are not going up, and I'm concerned about them. Did you see him? Where is he, chickadee? 
he just said he's, you saw him. So, where is he, baby? Where is he? Is he down here? Is he coming back for more cheese? What the heck is he doing? He's around. You just told me, and I believe you. I believe you, and I'm concerned that he's going to come over here and uh, go into where my birds are down low on the ground. Oh, yeah. He's not done. He's not even close to being done. He just got some, some energy now. <laughs> the slime ball is going to eat all our cheese. And anything else we put in there that's got a lot of protein and fat, he's going to get it. So now I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to uh, put start putting stuff up off the ground. And including inside this feeder, what I want to do is put a level on it, a, a sort of like a, a tier. So another floor, three quarters of the way up. And then put the food up there. Oh, bird, they just said they were here. Where is he, chickadee? My stomach's growling. Where is he, chickadee? Where? Well, when they see him, by the time I look, he's probably gone into a hole. So, so he comes out just for a split second, right? And goes from one hollow to another. And there's tunnels all under the snow that the squirrel has made. And that's what he's looking for. He smelled that squirrel. That squirrel was right here. So I'm just going to run and get my coffee now.